setting up on the neck wedge. The neck wedge is a fantastic tool to encourage the curve of the neck, but it's a one size fits all. So the neck wedge that we use at Core Chiropractic is mostly for someone of a tall stature, 6'5 or taller. That one you're allowed to um, set up evenly on the floor and you're gonna be in a great position. Anyone under 6'5 benefits from having your body elevated. So you can get a folded blanket, put it under the length of your spine. You can get a long pillow along your spine. What you're aiming to do is you put the neck wedge at the edge of that blanket and then when you go to lay on it, you're gonna allow your head to be in a position where the ear and the shoulder are in the same plane. You don't want the neck wedge to push you forward. That's what we've noticed in smaller people that if they're not having that ear over their shoulder, it's actually causing them to have more of a head forward posture. And that's not what we're aiming for, is we want the ear over the body with the proper curve. And that's what this neck wedge is, is designed. So being very thoughtful, if you're someone under 6'5", to add a blanket to underneath your body or a pillow. And that's something that you're gonna get used to and comfortable, it's easy to do, but it is um, helpful. And I don't encourage doing this on your bed because the bed is gonna mold. You wanna do this on the floor. The blanket also helps to get comfort to that. So, so now that you have this set up, go ahead and um, try it out. So you want to lay your body on the blanket as you get comfortable. You're gonna put your head over the wedge and that allows your ear to be lined up with that shoulder. If you're not sure if that's the case for you, you can get a mirror, see that you're in the right position. You can also ask someone to see if you're in the right position. Both of those are gonna allow you to see that you're in the right position. Now that you're in this position, you wanna make sure that the ear and the shoulder are in the same plane and then you have a nice arc in your neck. So we're encouraging that 35 degree curve to form by pushing and allowing the neck wedge to do its work, but you don't have your ear and your shoulder um, not in the same plane. You want it parallel to the ground, not angled away from the ground, because that's gonna increase the head forward posture. And we don't want head forward posture. We want the ear over the shoulder, not in front of the shoulder. So from this position, in the beginning, you're just relaxing and taking um, time getting used to being in this position. Most of us don't have this curve. And so to get into a curve of 35 degrees is gonna take some work and some time molding the spine and, and stretching out these ligaments. So from here, you're just resting five to 10 minutes comfortably. If your blood circulation feels like it's going numb um, and you don't feel your neck, then you're, you've gone too far. So then take a break. Um, but you wanna just start it gradually. Once a day is perfect. If you do this twice a day, that's great too. You just want a short increment, but consistency is the key. So, so laying in this position is um, really good for that curve. Now, once you're comfortable with this, you can do um, several things. You can increase time, and that way your, your spine is learning how to mold um, longer in this position, that's great. The other thing is to add some exercises. So there's two different exercises I like in this position. So one is that you're in this neutral position and then you're bringing your ear, your head straight into the neck wedge. You're gonna do a set of 10. So you're pushing straight in and then you're relaxing. Straight in and then you're relaxing. So it's a translation of the bones one over the other, strengthening and trying to get your body to mold into that 35 degree curve. You can do a set of 10 three times. Do take a break. You're gonna be here for a little while. So enjoy the time in between those sets and that's easy to do. The next one is gonna be in an extension. So from here, your ear is still over that shoulder, but now from this neutral position, I'm looking straight up at the ceiling and then I'm looking up and over and then back to neutral and that's one. And then you go up and over. So I'm arcing even more. I'm contracting the, the intrinsic muscles of the neck, helping them to learn how to be in the curve of the neck and then back to neutral. So I look straight up at the ceiling and then I go up and then back, up and then back. So that's another way to help that curve develop. And so doing a set of 10, three times as well in this position is really good to do. So having that blanket underneath your body elevates your body, gets you in a better alignment, and it's not pushing that head forward 
also allowing that curve to be. Now, your doctor may um, ask you to put something under your low back. If you're not sure, this position is just fine that you're, you're having a neutral spine in the lumbar spine, and it should be comfortable that you have your, um, your pelvis like in a neutral position again, so you're not tilted forward, not tilted back, but you're neutral, you're bracing the belly nice and tight, and relaxed so you're not contracting the whole time you're in this position um, but you're not putting pressure on your low back too so you don't want to um, compromise your low back while you're in this position helping your neck so you want that in a healthy um, place as well so um, doing this on a regular basis certainly makes really good changes and we see that on x-ray after we do a follow-up x-ray and that's what you want consistency over time and getting great results for that nervous system enjoy